I'm waiting for this to go live. Um, I don't think we're live yet, so I'm gonna wait. If you somehow are in, please type in a message to say hi. Oh, I am live. Oh, thank you. Yay. Okay, this is my first time going live on YouTube, and I'm like amazed that there's anyone even joining me. Um, so yay. Hi, Emma. Hi, Marsha. I'm like so excited that I'm actually um, live here. I appreciate you guys being here. And um, what I have is my box that I just got with my pre-order from um, Stamping Up, so I'm really excited. I have not actually opened this up yet, so I'm going to be doing that now. So I haven't actually made any um, items with it, of course, because it is a true I op um, opening. I'm so glad, Emma, that you got a notification. So thank you so much um, for following me. Um, I assume that this uh, went to subscribers. Um, and I'm almost to 500 subscribers. When I get there, I am going to do a giveaway. Um, somehow I ended up with an extra cane uh, weave embossing folder. I don't know how, but I'm going to give that away. And, um, oh, wait. No, I'm not. That's my giveaway for this month um, for people that use my host code. I'm so sorry. Ignore that. Um, that's for my host code. I'm going to do a different giveaway when I get 500 followers. And I'm 490 something, so I'm getting there. So, okay, so I'm glad you guys are here. I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm not going to just wait forever, you know, to see who else joins because I really wasn't expecting anybody to join. So, um, I'm just excited you guys are here. And I can actually see the chat. So, that is cool. And again, I'm just trying to get used to all this. Um, all the software on how to do this because so far my videos have always been pre-recorded. So okay, so I'm going to start opening this up and see the nice bubble wrap stuff and I have my order with my stuff. Um, it told me this box was 30 pounds, so I have 30 pounds worth of stuff and oh my goodness, interesting. Okay, so I bought a bunch of stamp pads, ink pads, and it looks like this is the first set. This looks like the subtle ink pads. If you've watched my videos, you have seen that I um, usually use um, the Stampin' Spots because I was a uh, I uh, haven't been a demonstrator, but for you know I guess about I guess about a year, a little over a year, and I didn't want to spend money on um, the stamp pads right away because I wanted to get the other stuff. I'm gonna cut off this side of this. So you can see better. Ah, there. Okay. You can probably see better down here. Ah, thank you for your patience with me. Okay. So then I can put this here. And let me try to go like that. So maybe you can see better. Okay. So I did get a bunch of ink pads. It looks like these are um, the subtles. And so we have Lost Lagoon. That's one of the new colors. And um, Lemon Lolly is one of the new colors. Fresh Freesia was an in color, but that is um, joining the core colors um, in here. And then Calypso Coral is one we've already had. Pool Party, Balmy Blue, Petal Pink, Highland Heather, Soft Sea Foam, and Bubble Bath. Bubble Bath is one of the colors I'm most excited about, a really pretty pink color. So that's a new color. So that's the Subtles. And then I also have uh, gotten some ribbons. And these ribbons um, have to do with the new in colors. So I'll just kind of break this apart. 
Okay, so this is um, a ribbon that is, let me hold it up here so you can see it. This one is the Pebbled Path color. And I think all of these that I got are the same type of ribbon. And right now I cannot remember what the name of it is. Let me break this apart and then let me look on the site. Um, okay, it says textured ribbon. Okay, so this is textured ribbon then. And I got it in three colors. I believe it comes in all five of the colors, of the in colors, the new in colors. Okay, so this one is the Moody Mauve. That's really pretty. I like that color. And the last one that I got of these is the new blue color, which is the Boho Blue. So let me try to get this off. So you can see it. Um, let's see. Oh, Emma. She says it's a first time watching a video of me. So you must not be a subscriber. Oh my gosh. That is really cool. I didn't. Um, that is great for me that um, I'm getting new people to listen and watch. Okay, great. So this one is the Boho Blue Ribbon. So these are like really nice ribbons. They feel good. I think they're going to be easy uh, to tie bows with. So that's really exciting. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, we have some adhesive back gems. I think this comes with the Fresh as a Daisy suite. Um, that's going to be one of the suites that I got. And so that has um, some different colors in here that's going to go with the Daisy set. And then also here's some more gems that I got. Let's see. This is the 2325 in color dots. Oh, those are really pretty. So it has all the new in colors, which I don't know if I can do from memory. There's the Pebble Path, the Ma Moody Mauve, the Copper Clay, the Boho Blue, and then what is that yellow? I'm going to come up with it because I got the ink pad, so I will come back to this one. And Emma, you are a subscriber. Huh. Well, I don't know how you found me either, but I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so now let's see. Let's go to some stamp sets. Um, actually, let me go to, here's the Cheerful Daisy one. Because the Cheerful Daisy goes um, with these uh, uh, these dots. So this is just the, um, the stamp set. It's called Cheerful Daisies. And you can see there's outline of daisy shapes. Um, plus there's the solid. So you can do the two-step stamping. And it has um, several different single flowers and then there's a little uh, cluster of three here and the sentiments say you made my day oops a daisy so sorry oh that's so cute wishing you the brightest birthday and your friendship means everything oh my gosh this is so cute I really like it it's gonna look really good with these uh, new in colors I think and uh, this is great okay let me of course, these aren't all organized by suite, so let me see if I can um, dig around and get the dies. Let's see. Here's a bunch of dies that I got. Okay, here's the Cheerful Daisy dies. Let me pull that out. And I got the pattern paper too, but that's probably way down at the bottom of my box. So let's see here. Okay, so this is Cheerful Daisy Dies, and I'll set that here so maybe you can see that, and let me get um, the stamp set back. Yeah, can you see that, I think? Um, okay, so here it looks like we have all the daisy pieces here that matches these, and then um, it has the stem, and it looks like in addition, uh, maybe I'm going to hold this up here. It looks like here's just um, a bunch of stems, leaves, like what the plant would look like with a daisy. And then it also has this really nice kind of ticket outline that would be for a frame. So that probably works good. Um, I think all of these would probably fit in here. I think this one here probably, probably will too. So that's going to be a really nice versatile set. And let's see, I just got to see if I can dig out the paper. Oh, yeah, here's the DSP. Okay. Yay, I'm going to get to um, pull this out that goes with the whole set. 
Okay, let me try to move this. I'm not that great at uh, zooming in yet or zooming out with my camera settings. So um, I don't want to try zooming in and out right now. So I hope you'll understand. Let's see. Oh, someone can't see the stamp set. Sorry. If I put that there, can you see it now? Sorry. You might have said that a couple minutes ago and I didn't see it. Okay, great. Okay, let me pull out the DSP that goes with this. Let me move some of this out of the way. Thank you for being patient with me. Okay, so this first piece of DSP, let me move my box out of the way. Okay, if I go like this, you can pretty much see the whole DSP. Okay, this is really cool. I think this is um, going to be something that you're going to cut into pieces. And the way I would cut this, just looking at it um, straight away, is that looks like you would cut it here first, because that goes all the way across. And then uh, once you have this, then you're going to cut this across. And then once you have this square here, you're going to cut it across here. Okay, and then you're going to just cut the individual pieces. Okay, so for example, let me do this. So once you have the individual pieces, so say you only have this, then it's going to be easy to cut here and cut here. And then let's say you just have these two pieces, then of course you're going to cut it in half. If you have, not including that, if you have these two pieces, you're going to cut it in half. And then this last piece down here, you're going to cut it here. Oops, can you see it? There we go. Okay, you're going to cut it here and go across. So I just love the colors of this. It's so versatile. Um, it has different daisies. It has some cool backgrounds. Oh, this is cool. This looks like... Um, this looks like a scene with clouds in the sky. And I also like this one here. This one has a kind of a bamboo look. So I just really think this is cool. And of course, the DSP, it comes um, two sheets for each design. Okay, and then let me go through the rest of these. This is a really pretty uh, daisy. Just the whole sheet is daisies, two sheets of that. Oh, then look at this pretty color. This to me looks like it has the copper clay, maybe the new in color. And I don't know if these greens are uh, showing, but to me these greens look maybe more like maybe they're the new colors like the Lost Lagoon or, you know, kind of more of a teal type color. So that's really pretty. And let's see, here's, oh, this is another one with pretty daisies. Now, I'm wondering, of course, I can't, well, why not get this out right now? I don't know if, um, that. well, no, I don't think the outline, let's see. If I get out the die, I wonder if this die would fit over any of these. Hmm. You know how some on the last catalog they would fit. Um, I'm not sure. Some of this looks pretty close, but I'm not sure that it's um, going to fit. But I could, we might learn later that I was wrong. But I don't want to spend tons of time because I've got lots of stuff to um, go through. Okay, next one. Ooh, look at this pretty page um, with the daisies coming up with the blue sky. And this has kind of a dry brushed painting uh, look behind it. So it looks real artistic. Okay, and then this one here. This is kind of similar to this first one I showed you. Okay, this one has more yellow in it. Um, that has some others. So let's flip this over. So the back side of this one is going to just be a blue sky. And that's going to definitely match this paper here. Um, and then if we take this paper and flip it over, oh, look at that. Pretty, pretty. That's that pretty copper clay that's um, one of the new colors. And let's go back to this one here and the back side of this one. Oh, is it, that's the dry brush color. This is really pretty. Okay, this is gonna be kind of a, a pebble path shape. And oh, thank you for ask, sharing this with other people. That's awesome. Um, thank you so much. Okay, and this one here. Uh, this one ha that had the white daisies on it, the back side of that is going to be the yellow, okay? And let me see what 
color is that yellow? Did it say on here? Let me see. The end dots. No, it doesn't say. What is that color? That's bothering me now that I can't remember what the color is. Okay, let me pull this out. Oh, this is the in colors markers, but it's not listing them. Ah, does anybody know what that new color, the in color is that's yellow? Maybe someone can tell me. I don't want to take time to um, look it up right now. But um, that's a pretty yellow color. And then, I don't think I did the back side of this one. This is another set of the yellow, uh, the white daisies. And the back of this is really pretty. Look, it has that uh, blue, green, teal, and, and actually green. So that is really cool. Let me see if, oh yes. Okay, on the back side um, of this back pa backing paper for this, it says the colors here. It says Azure Afternoon, if I'm saying that right, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, and Lemon Lolly. Okay, Lemon Lolly is a new color, but it's not an in color. So maybe that's what this is. Um, it also has Mo uh, Moody Mauve, Pe Pebbled Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. Okay, so wild wheat. I bet that it color is the wild, uh, maybe it's the wild wheat color. I'm not sure. I need to, I should have looked that up first. Okay, and then the last pattern paper. Okay, I showed you this to begin with. And so the back side of this one, oh my goodness, this is that moody mauve color. So pretty. So I really like the brushed, uh, dry brushed look that um, has to do with this. So that is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. I don't want to lose this. I'm really excited to start stamping with um, this Fresh as a Daisy Sweet. Okay, so if you're just joining, thank you. My name is Lisa Goodell. This is a true unboxing. I'm just showing you what I got in my pre-order box. Um, so let's look at, this is just um, a bundle that I got. I really wanted to uh, get the Ocean set and this is called Beauty of the Deep and this is I think going to go really well um, with some of the other sets like the Turtle set from last year, the um, Bayside set, some of those things and I like that um, it has the background with the coral kind of underwater. I lo love this little sea urchin. I love that it has the fish and it looks like this one is um, a cling set. Okay. So that's this set, and I believe that it comes with dies. So let's see if I can find the dies in here. Let's see. I'm not seeing them right now, but we will come back to that. Okay, I'll set this over here. Oh, wait, here's my dies. Um, Beauty of the Deep dies. Here we go. Okay. Beauty of the Deep dies. Um, if anyone's on here and you don't have, uh, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, I am, a, I'm an experienced stamper. I was a demonstrator like 10, 15 years ago, and then I uh, gave it up just because of teaching. It was really difficult to do everything, and now I'm back doing this again. So here are the sets, the dies that go with Beauty of the Deep, and it looks like. Um, you're going to get an extra coral die. That's going to be gorgeous. It's going to tie in with these. And it looks like the rest of these are going to be outlines. The anchor has an outline. And perhaps this one here, another piece of coral here, this might be an extra one that doesn't go uh, with a stamp. So that's going to be really cool uh, to use. I can't wait. Okay, so that is that bundle that I got. All right, let's see. The next one is a bundle I got is the Circle Sayings, and that comes with a round punch, a really big round punch. This is two and three eighths of an inch, and this is going to go perfectly with this stamp set. Okay, so basically, I think my ring light is getting in the way. Sorry, let me kind of curve this so you can see. So this part right here is going to be a circle that says celebrate. And then inside the circle, you can put any of these sentiments or 
this cute cupcake. Or I'm sure you can pair this up with any kind of stamp set you have that has a small image that could go in there. And then they also have some extra things. Here's a banner that says sending you, thinking of you. And then here's some of the sentiment stamp. Here's a happy birthday, a smile today. And then let me kind of move this over so the ring light's not in the way. Here, this one is because you're awesome. So, and thank you. And here is warm hello. And then there's these uh, pretty other stamps. Here's uh, flowers that you can put under, over. And here's some shells. Oh, I think this would go well with my... Um, with that said, I got Beauty of the Deep. And then look at this really nice um, image down here, this like waves with the sun. So that's really cool uh, with the warm hello. And then um, all of this celebrate because you are awesome. You can go together um, sending you a warm hello. And which you can either put them in here. And I'm guessing that this would fit right in here too. This almost looks a little smaller than that, so um, we'll have to see. But I'm sure all of this is going to work with the stamp. I mean, with the with the punch. So if I hold this up here, I don't know if you can see how this punch. This is the scene with the sun and the wave. That's going to fit, and then this is the celebrate celebrate. That's going to fit in there also, and it looks like. All of these individual flower and seashell pieces so you could put that in there um, maybe without um, the celebrate or perhaps you would use like um, like say sending you a and then maybe on the bottom part of that you would put the flowers or the seashells so I think this is going to be really versatile this is going to be awesome. So this is another bundle. This, uh, As far as I know, this doesn't come with dies. It just comes um, um, with the punch, which you can use for tons of things. And it's a nice big punch. And then also with the stamp set. Okay, I need to... Is there any other... Yeah, okay, I don't see any other posts, um, comments. So, okay, good. I want to make sure um, I kind of forgot. Got so excited. I forgot to um, look at the comments. So, awesome. Um, okay, let's see what else we have here. Um, okay, here's another bundle that I got. This one is Crafting uh, With You, and it comes with a die set and stamps. And look at this is like really, really cool. All right, um, it comes up here, sending you a handmade hug. So um, what I like about this set, it has all kinds of different crafts represented here. It's not only stamping, but of course you can use stamping. And it has a little basket here. It has an easel and it has some flowers. Um, now I think that that is separate. Yes. Okay. So um, the flower, well here in the example here, it has the basket on the easel. Here it has the flower, but those are separate sets or what should I say? Separate stamps. Okay. And then down here, there's a little tiny flower, a little heart. Here's paint brushes. Um, here's a sewing machine, here's um, yarn, and then here is a Stampin' Up! cut and emboss machine. And then there are some other sayings up here. Here is with love, you inspire me, and life is better when you're crafting. So I think this is going to have a lot of um, different uses um, for people that love to craft and uh, share their crafts with other people. Okay, and then um, the dies. Let me get out the dies. We'll see if there's anything extra in there. I am going to presume that you're going to be able to use the dies to cut out all the images. But let's see if there's anything. Oh, yeah, there's some extra stuff in here. Okay, let's look. Okay, so here looks like you're going to be able to cut out the easel and the flowers. It looks like they have a different basket here you can cut out. Um, although this one here, this trapezoid here, is probably going to work for the basket. Looks like there's a little book. Well, I'm not sure if that's a book or is that one piece? It's one piece. Maybe that is yarn or something. I'm not sure. That could be used for different things. And there's some buttons here. Over here, there are some different shaped hearts and um, stars. And here's that one again. There's two of those. So what do you guys think that this would be for, for crafting? I'm not sure. Here's the sewing machine. Here's a ruler. 
Here's scissors. So you, you're going to cut out the two pieces of the scissor and then put them together. Uh, glue them up on top. And then there's this. Hmm. What do you think this is going to be? That's interesting. And there's this little thing here. This looks like some um, bobbins, some thread holders. This outline here is going to be for the Stampin' uh, Cut and Emboss Machine. Oh, look at this. Um, it's so cute. What do, you, what do you call that when you put the the fabric on there so you can embroider. Why, why am I not, what is that called? Oh, a cutting board or simply score. Oh, there are maybe like the, pa oh, I bet it's the paper cutter. Yes, it's the paper cutter. Good job, who said that? That was Emma, yeah. Okay, this is the piece that comes up and then this is the piece that you can open up to make 12 inches and uh, yeah, so that is the paper cutter. Good job. And, um, and then here it looks like this is going to be the outline for the yarn. And then there's another heart. A hoop. A hoop. Thank you, Marcia. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. The embroidery hoop. So I think this is going to be really, really cool. Oh. Okay. Is this going to come back on? I got a phone call and I'm filming with my iPhone. So... Um, let me know if we got disconnected or if you're still on and I'll wait just a second uh, because my software should uh, reconnect. So let's see what happened here. I'm hoping that someone can reply so that I know you're still on. Okay, so that is the crafting with you. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I got a phone call. I don't know how to turn off my phone calls on my phone because uh, that's what I'm filming um, up above to go straight down. I'm still learning. Thank you guys for your patience. Okay, here's another suite. Okay, this is Countryside Corners and this is a suite. Now, this is interesting because this is like one big stamp. Look at this. And so um, it's just one piece, but I think I'm going to want to cut it apart. Okay, so it has this. It has one big sticker. Um, but yeah, I think I think I might want to cut this apart and then you can use it uh, many different ways. Although it is a pretty pattern like this, too. If I let me go back to the front so you can see up here. Hopefully you can see I'm trying to avoid the ring light. But you can see that there's a lot of different uh, patterns. There's flowers, there's dots, there's stitched lines. Um, and I like how the corners are cut. But look at this one with the flowers. That actually looks like it's just a rounded corner. It doesn't look like it has the um, cut off corners so much. Okay, and so this suite goes with a embossing folder. So let me get this out. This embossing folder is called Countryside Blossoms Embossing Folder. So I'm guessing that's the name of the suite. I haven't memorized all this stuff yet. Okay, and so this is going to be flowers. And this kind of almost looks kind of uh, Nordic. Um, let's see if I get some white. I don't know if that really shows. Can you kind of see the pattern there? This is really hard kind of to see. Maybe I have something dark. Does it show up better on this? It has flowers on it, um, kind of swirls and stuff. Um, I do know that Stamping Up, I believe, is going to Norway for their incentive trips. So, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe this has to uh, do with that somehow. And it does also come with some DSP pattern paper. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, and all of this is like a uh, very pretty blue and white. Um, so look at this pretty paper here. Let me do it over here one at a time. I think this is super pretty blue and white, real dainty. Um, and then the back side of this looks like it is Night of Navy. And I don't know if the blue is maybe a boho blue, that new color. I'm not sure. Let's look on the back of this and see what colors it has. 
Um, this is Azure Afternoon, if I'm saying that new uh, color right, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Cur... No, 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 no. What am I doing? That's the wrong one. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. That was going back to the Daisy one. Okay. This one is called Countryside Inn 12 by 12 series paper. And it has balmy blue, boho blue, misty moonlight, and night of navy. Okay, so that's all four um, shades of blue. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you for being patient with me. Okay, the next paper that comes with that. Oh, this is really cute. Look at this. This has bunnies on it besides the little flowers. And um, if I go really close, you might be able to see this is going to, um, again, be in line with that embossing folder. You can kind of see how there's the big flowers and little flowers and curly cues. So that's really cute with the bunny. And then on the back here, there are stripes. And these stripes are going to go really well um, with the stamp set that has the different stripes and stuff on it. Okay, so this is a lighter color. Okay, next one, here's stripes again. This is going to be Night of Navy. It's going to be darker stripes. And on the back side of this, Okay, look how pretty this has um, different birds on it and flowers. And if you uh, probably can see it, especially from far away, it kind of has a lattice pattern uh, with the dark blue. So that looks really, really pretty. And um, also with these, even though this set is all like blues and whites, I was kind of like, ah, oh, is that kind of boring? But I think it would pair really well if you use different color um, DSP um, or pattern paper or um, let's see like here's some of the here's the boho blue uh, ribbon that I got this is going to look really pretty with this um, or even I wonder I don't know what do you think the mauve here's mauve I think the moody mauve might look really pretty with this too okay with the different ones okay so here's another one let me turn it this way this way the flowers are going up again it has this really cool vibe to me it's kind of a nordic scandinavian vibe um and then the back side of this is uh, more stripes and again if you're not into flowers so much these stripes i mean these stripes this could totally be a masculine card um a lot of the back sides of these have stripes that would go very well with a masculine okay look at this one this is another really pretty one this has some more animals in it we have a fox i don't know if you can see the fox here let me go like that so you can see the fox and it looks like oh i guess at first i thought yeah that's another fox so it's two views of a fox yeah going looking different ways and then again it has all this um flora so it's kind of flora and fauna with the um the fox and then the leaves. And I'm thinking that there's a stamp set that has a fox in it. So this probably would coordinate if you have that stamp set. And then the back, oh, this is really cute. Really, I have to, I'm holding this up like three inches from my camera. Um, it's really, really tiny, little teeny tiny um, blue flowers. And it has a background and it has some more uh, kind of lattice with little uh, dots making that pattern. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, and then here's the last one for this uh, DSP set. Okay, and so this one is uh, maybe that's more like a tree and has flowers. And it kind of has a little zigzag pattern look to it from, um, if I hold it down here from far away. And the back side of this, ah. Oh, little teeny tiny flowers all in a row okay so that is the country in designer series paper and um let's see and i think um this i think has dyes that go with it let me see where those are yes okay so that's what's gonna um join with the the other stuff in the suite. Let me get this out. Okay. This is the countrywide corners die. So it's going to go with this. Should have gotten this out earlier. Okay. So it looks like this, these dies are going to go with each layer of um, this stamp set, each of these corners. And then look at the very middle. It has a little teeny tiny 
a die that would be good for a sentiment that has the little ribbon cut on the ends. So that's very sweet, okay? So that's why um, I was saying that when I put this together, I'm gonna cut through here each level so you can do it separate. Um, or if you wanted to leave it all the same, I guess you could leave it all the same, stamp it all one color, and then you would just take turns putting these dies on it. And then when you do them all, then you'd end up with one, two, three, four, five, six uh, different die cuts. Um, you could do that. Maybe I'll try that before I end up uh, cutting this apart. Because it won't be impossible to cut it apart, but it might be a little tricky trying to poke in uh, to begin that. Um, so that is something I'll have to think about. Uh, I'll have to see what might work best for that. Okay, goodness, how are we doing? Um, let's see, I think those, that's all of my stamp sets that I got. They do have others in the pre-order, um, but since I got so many ink pads, I um, had to spend money on that. <laughs> So let me go through, it looks like these are my In Colors ink pads. So here is Pebbled Path, here's Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, and here's that one I couldn't remember, Wild Wheat. I thought it was some kind of yellow, it is kind of a, a yellowish brown. And then Copper Clay. Okay, so those are the four In Colors, and here are the markers that I got to go with them. And let me see, I don't I have all this all over, oh, here it is. No, I thought I had, I know I have those gems uh, somewhere around here. I might come across them again in a minute. Okay, so those are um, in colors. Then I also got a uh, cardstock. Let's see. I think I got a uh, cardstock for the new in colors. Let me see. Neutrals, regals. Yes. Okay. So then I got um, cardstock here that has all of these in um, colors, in those colors in the 8.5 by 11 cardstock. Okay. So now I'm just going to finish, finish up with the colors. And I will open those up and show you. Um, here's just more cardstock. Here is that bubble bath. I think that is just, it's just like a bubble gum type thing, a light colored pink for bubble gum. And I got um, cardstock for the other sets, like the neutrals and the regals and the brights. Okay, and then the last thing is my ink pads. Okay, and I got all new ink pads. Okay, my box is empty now. Let me move my box out of the way. Okay, I'm going to open these up and show you the colors, okay? Um, if you already know, maybe this isn't as exciting, but if someone doesn't know about the colors, I can show them to you. Okay, so this set here is Regals. So let me open these up. Some of these colors are the same core colors we've had and uh, some are gonna be new, or they've uh, changed um, what category that they're in. Okay, so here's Crushed Curry, Old Olive. Old Olive, I think I've had that, gosh, since 2000 or whenever I first started stamping. Here's Gorgeous Grape. Here's Cajun Craze. Here's Garden Green. That's another old one that I had when I first started. Here's Pretty Peacock. Okay, this is a dark, dark teal. And this is one that has come back. Here's Cherry Cobbler. Here's Real Red. Here's Blueberry Bushel. Okay, this is a new color. I think that's returning uh, that might have been an in color at one time. And here is Shaded Spruce. Okay, so those are the Regal pads. Okay, next I am going to do, this is going to be the Neutrals, the Classic Colors. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Very pretty pink. Yeah, I love that bubble bath color. Um, and for some reason, I've never really liked the petal pink or 
the Blushing Bride or Flirty Flamingo. I like more of a cool pink color, I guess. So I'm excited about the, um, the bubble bath. Okay, so this is, what did I say? This is for the neutrals. Now, Blackberry Bliss. I don't remember if that was a neutral before, but that is a neutral now. Pecan Pie. This is a new color. It's a pretty uh, kind of medium brown color. Gray Granite. We've had that for a while. Night of Navy. That's a good color. We've had that for a long time. We have Basic Gray. And then we have Smoky Slate, a little lighter color. We have crumb cake. Now, if you want to compare pecan pie and crumb cake, you can see crumb cake is a little lighter. And we have mossy meadow and misty moonlight. And we have early espresso. Early espresso is going to be the darkest one out of, yeah. Early espresso is the darkest, then you're going to have pecan pie, and then you're going to have the crumb cake. Okay, hopefully you can see that. All right, then the last thing that I got in my box is more ink pads, and this is going to be the brights. Okay. Let's see. Let me get this open. All right, so these are the bright. So here's the blue azure afternoon. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Let me pull out another blues if you want to kind of compare. Here's the azure afternoon. And this one in the middle is misty moonlight. And then here's the blueberry uh, bushel if you want to kind of compare those. And let me see. Here's the night of navy. Okay, the night of navy is going to be um, the darkest, I think. Okay, and I think we'll get some more blues in this one. Okay, here's Berry Burst. That's really pretty. Uh, I wonder how that's going to compare to Melon Mambo. Here's Flirty Flamingo. That's going to be a lighter pink. Here's Pumpkin Pie. Here, okay, let's compare. Okay, here we can compare three of these. Here's Melon Mambo. Here's Berry Burst. And here's Flirty Flamingo. Okay. Now we have Granny Apple Green that's coming back. And this is Lemon Lime Twist on the left. So that's a brand new color. And here is the Daffodil Delight. Here's Poppy Parade. And here's Coastal Cabana. Okay, now one thing that I was wanting to compare is the Boho Blue. But um, actually with the Boho Blue... Did I get that? Where is that at? Let me look. Here's the boho blue. Okay. All right. So here you can see boho blue, azure afternoon, night of navy, blueberry bushel, and misty moonlight. Okay. Um, so that is what we have. Okay. I don't know if there's any questions or if anybody has um, anything else to say, but I'm super excited um, about what I got. Um, I like the stamp sets. Let me just try to review one last time with just the stamp sets I got. Um, let me see if I can grab those. Okay, here's the Cheerful Daisies that um, is that comes in the suite that has the DSP and uh, dies and has some gems. Then we have the Circle Sains that is a bundle that comes with um, the 2 and 3 8 inch Circle Punch. Here's the Beauty of the Deep Stamp Set that um, is a bundle that comes with dies. Here's the Crafting with You Set that also comes with dies. And where's the Country in? Okay, here. Here's the Countryside Corners. Okay, and that... Um, that comes with DSP and it comes um, with dies. And I'm trying to think. Oh, it comes with the embossing folder. That's the other thing it comes with that embossing folder. All right. So I want to um, thank you guys for watching. Can put out my ribbons here. Um, there's lots of other stuff that was in the pre order. I'm sure other people will have unboxing 
um, videos that have um, lots of other stamping stuff. I just wanted to get the ink pad, so that's what I spent most of my money on. And I was able to get one of them as a half price item. So that was awesome to get half price on a whole uh, set of colors. So I just want to say, if you don't have a demonstrator and you're interested in uh, working with me, uh, my April host code is uh, right here. And if you um, order with me, then you will you can earn some free stuff if you use the host code. And um, if you want to do that, uh, then for April, I do have some free stuff. I'm trying to see if I can get to it to remind myself so I don't forget. Um, okay, so for my free stuff, if you spend $25 using the host code, and that is the subtotal uh, before tax and shipping, um, then what you're going to get from me is I'm going to send you two hand-stamped cards at the end of the month for every $25 um, dollars that you spend. Um up to $150. So I could um, send you a bunch of cards that I made um, if you use the um, postcode. Also, you're going to be entered in a giveaway that I'm going to do at the end of the month, and that is with the cane weave embossing folder that I showed at the beginning. Okay, and this is a really cool embossing folder. This is the one that um, I originally got, and then I ended up with a second one. So that's all packaged up, hasn't been used. That's the one that I'm going to give away at the end of the month and you can be entered in that giveaway if you spend $25 using my host code. And then um, the other thing is if you spend $50 as a subtotal, not only will you get the other stuff, um, but I'm also going to send you some ribbon samples. So you'll get 12 inches of five different ribbons. And I will send those to you the address to the address that you use um, on your order on your order. And I'll do that all at the end of the month. And so um, share that with other people. It's a good way to uh, get some extra stuff. And I'm just starting out. And last thing is if anyone wants to join as a demonstrator, this is a perfect time because it will um, potentially be easier to get customers because everyone is excited about the new catalog coming out. And um, you can... Um, get your order. You can get brand new stuff. If you join now, you'll be able to do the pre-order just like me. Um, customers cannot order this stuff until beginning of May. Is it, I think it's like May 4th, May 2nd, um, something around there that customers can't order. But if you're a demonstrator, you can order it now during the pre-order. And um, so if you have any questions, um, here's my email down here, lisagoodell.com. And um, I'm also on Instagram. Sometimes that's a good way to DM. So let me um, put that. Lisa Good Art. That's on Instagram. Um, so you can follow me there. Um, I have um, some art stuff on there um, as well as stamping because I like to do a little painting. Uh, so I kind of do both on the Instagram. But sometimes that's a good way to connect with people. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, like and subscribe if you aren't already following me on YouTube. I do put a video out every Friday night at 5 p.m. And um, I will um, be putting out some others. I'm, I'm going to try to start doing more lives. And I haven't really come up with a time yet um, for that. So if anyone has ideas um, of what time works for you, if you like to watch lives, um, then let me know. And so thank you so much to Emma and Marsha that you guys have hung in there and you watched my unboxing. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if anyone has any last comments or if you want to say what your favorite thing is. Um, I really like the in colors. I think I'm going to enjoy using those. And on the stamp sets, I, I think, I don't know, I think my favorites right now are probably the Circle Sains and uh, the Cheerful Daisies. I think those are the ones I'm most excited to use and to try out the DSP that goes with the Cheerful Daisies. But I, there's just so much cool stuff coming in this new catalog. And um, so thanks so much. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you, Marcia. Nice to meet you, Emma. And I will sign off now, but I hope you guys have um, a great day. Um, let's see. Oh, Emma said her favorite was the Daisies. Okay. Yep, me too. I think that's very fun. Um, and they have... 
amazing different things in the catalog. I can't wait until we can actually show that to you, but I don't think we can do that um, until next month when it comes out um, officially. So thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day and take care.